Hello and welcome to the future. Tonight we're testing out three striking claims. It's claimed you can do it in six hours flat. Will I beat the clock and assemble a house that comes on the back of a lorry? Now, we've all had that flat pack furniture moment when bolt A just won't screw it to nut B. But if a Pine Effect bookcase is a struggle, imagine putting together a whole flat pack bungalow. A two bedroom house, fully wired and fully plumbed and all put together in a day. This is only a model of what they say they can do. The real thing is over here in this big red box. What they say is in there is a real life version of this and that I'll be able to live in it by the end of the day. So let's put it to the test. Right, Ramon, so what do I need? For the last 12 years, Ramon Kalinowski, a Vancouver based engineer, has been working on the foldable portable house. Today, we're against the clock. Start time is nine o'clock sharp. Three unskilled people can put it all together. The secret of it is the clever way Ramon has packed the parts into every inch of space. The fact is, in here, there's roofs, ceilings, walls, windows, doors, and the floors, all stuffed together. 22 flat surfaces crammed into this small space, and we're now opening it out. Floor's down, but it's 11.15, so no time to stop. Believe it or not, this is the stainless steel roof. 10,000 components make up the house, and each one is designed on a computer so that they all fit together like a huge jigsaw puzzle. Well, that's half the roof up, so let's take a break. What put this amazing idea into your mind, Ramon? It happened in the early 1980s when I was working in the Andes Mountains of Peru, and I was uh, assigned to build some uh, workers' uh, uh, camps in remote areas uh, over 4,000 meters above the sea level. And I thought, well, if I can do a house in a, in a factory that could be instant, I could be ready and transport it to almost any location in the world at a fraction of the cost, uh, that would benefit a lot of people. Ramon wants to make these houses on a production line, similar to the way cars are made. Maybe one day we'll go to the house showroom, choose the one we like, and a few days later it'll arrive on the back of a lorry. Cheap, off-the-peg housing built in just a few hours. There are a few teething troubles, sticky joints and fiddly corners. Some tasks just need brute force, like opening out the huge concertina walls. So, now we have a roof, windows, four walls and a front door, and all by ten past four. The house meets North American building standards. Double glazing, insulation, you name it. Last little push and the walls are out and ready to take the weight of the roof which we're lowering into place. The house comes fully wired, so I just plug it into the electricity mains and then we have light. So all that's left to do now is to fit out the inside. Now here, stashed away right in the centre of the house, are all the fittings. Everything from the kitchen sink to a loo, toilet paper right up here beside it, and here, standing on its end, the bath. Now for the kitchen. Well, now the kitchen cupboards have all been pulled out. They were flat against the wall here. They've all been pulled out. So all I've got to do, apparently, is to put the worktop down like this, right, and bring the sink over here. There's the sink with its drain plug, which I've got to put... I've got to tr screw in somewhere at the back. It fits in like that, that's all right. There we are. Now I can make myself a nice cup of tea. At last, at five past seven, time to relax. This is a two-bedroom house, but what else could it be? As you've noticed, the roof is resting actually on the outside walls. So you can have any configuration, any layout you want inside, as much as have a wide open space or have a two bedroom or a hospital version. Really, this is totally flexible. Well, there we have it, from a shipping container to a house in a day. Now, how about moving it out of here to somewhere with a better view? Um, hmm, well, I think we might just leave that until tomorrow. Well, it is a little bit difficult to guess what consumers will make of all this, but when you measure the effect of it being mass-produced and the fact that you put it together without any labour costs at all, it could save you a great deal of money. 